Hello, my name is Miss Harmony and welcome to my channel. That is basically about case reviews and case discussions and at times analysis. And I am also on Twitter, so you can follow me there as I daily post there than my community wall. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and all and like. Thank you, Miss Harmony. This morning when I woke up, I had many notifications and emails, and it was all in regards to a sighting that people believe could have been little baby Quentin running along during Bullhorn Betty's live, where Dolly Vision takes a light and walks by. I went to Betty's live that was posted last night and what I did was took it from the real footage. So I also have done it in normal speed, magnification speed, frame by frame, fast frame by frame speed, a nice clip forward and reverse. And what it really is, but I'll pre-warn you because I don't want to rain in anybody's parade. And in the spirit of Halloween, the timing couldn't have been more perfect. But however, there is logical sense behind that. The way the light refraction is moving and now. In all fairness, I have to let you know through my expertise and my knowledge of photography equipment and the way lighting glows, I'm about to be fair and release the trick at how this is done. So if you don't want to know, I suggest you do not continue watching. If you want to know, then continue watching as I explain to you how this little trick is done. And then you can go back and review and you can make your decision up then. So this is how 
the trick is done. In this shot, we have a lot of illumination bouncing. We have illumination bouncing off of Dolly's pant legs. We have illumination bouncing off the barrier tape. And we also have illumination that's really bouncing off whatever that silver thing is in the center. And then right behind it, you'll see that little tiny line. And that line is exactly in alignment of where Dolly's feet are and the illumination of the way everything goes. So it's actually just illuminating. We'll go to the next frame now. As you can see, there are three red lines. The lower red line is actually the person's camera who's filming Dolly. What is happening is that it's now bouncing from the top light and you can see the reflection of the top light illuminating his pants. And then again, if you look at the lower on the grass, the bounce of the light is following Dolly. It's in alignment. It is actually could even be the reflection of his pants. If you look and see, it's almost that length, except for the barrier tape is in the way. In the next shot, you'll see what I'm talking about if you understand the lining of the camera that's filming him to the reflection and what we are seeing, the projection. I've kept it simpler in this shot. So you have the camera that is looking at Dolly which is illuminating the light from him and bouncing off now the back where you see the little line. So you can get my idea. It's just a reflection projection. We have a lot going on here. So it's basically the same thing. Dolly's moved forward. The lights from the bottom, from the camera, are reflecting. And what is really good is that due to his illumination from his light, you can now see his shadow is in alignment. And the other thing is the light is bouncing off what I believe is maybe a pole to the house or maybe to the memorial. So you can really see the bounce of the light in this. I'm not going to use the arrows because that takes a lot of time. I'm going to play it forwards and backwards so you can remember how the lighting goes, the projection goes, and the reflection goes. I don't have very many pictures of my camera equipment all set up to really explain this, but uh, there's many different ways to go about getting this kind of bounce effect. Uh, I'm taking a picture of the auroras. So in that red circle, if I'm going to use a flash, I don't want it to affect my photograph. So it will prevent that light by bouncing off that little square. In photography terms, we call this light bounce. And Bouncing simply means placing a reflective surface in the path of your light source, thereby pushing some of that light back into the subject. 
bounce light helps to minimize the strong shadows and creates a more even lighting environment, which helps bring out the smallest details of the image that you're trying to obtain here. And for me, it was the auroras. You can Google images to see what I'm talking about in that little red circle there. Sometimes it goes at the side, the top. It just depends on what you are. The last portion, I'm going to use heels in the air. She saved me a lot of time in filming. She was a astute observer and she recognized exactly the ending to all of this. And if you haven't subbed up to her, please do so. She's a clip channel. She's very funny. And let me show you the clip and she explains almost everything. First, thank you so much, Miss Heels, for pointing this out. So what is that? Well, there's another little parlor trick up the sleeve of little Dolly Vision here. And if you can see, she's pointing to a beam. But what Dolly has in the red circle, if you look, is another light. It's, it could be a flashlight that is pointing down to project that longer light. I'm not wrong in explaining to you all the prior information, but this portion, he is definitely losing some sort of maybe flashlight or whatever. He can uh, let us know in the comments below and confirming if he was actually holding something or is it again his light that is above reflecting below. But as you can see, it is much longer. It's the height and everything that I want you to also con consider. It's way above the tape line and it's almost as big as he is. So that's what that is here. I have two thoughts about this. One, let's just say this was baby Quentin. Then we know that he is no longer with us, even though that we have been told he is deceased. It's still very, very sad in my heart and maybe yours. And the other thing is, if it was, then I want to think of it as a good thing that little baby Quentin decided to show his spirit and maybe perhaps even go and look at all the beautiful toys and things that the community and people had left him. I like to think those kind of nice thoughts. So on that, so I can think those things. But on the other side, because of my expertise, and I have to also say that this concludes it. What you are getting is a reflection from the camera lens that is filming him, bouncing his light to create this projection. As Dolly moves forward, the camera filming projects light he is holding, bouncing off his light, and when he passes out of the camera, filming that sight light from the camera and potentially also if he is holding a flashlight, that is being created stops. Now you may say, but Miss Harmony, what about the little legs running? Well, my friends, those are little dolly legs and it's due to the casting of all the light that is mimicking or mirroring his legs. Had the camera followed him all along, I would believe so would this projection imagery. But I will leave it up to you what you want to think and believe. Trick or treat. Happy Halloween.